Can't stand to stand me, won't stand for it, even stand will stand for me Take the stand, minutes of YouTube truth, I know you can't stand it Trauma and drama, this is relative hatred I had uh, one of the craziest uh, dreams of nightmares last night I love my nightmares, you know I write down, oh dreams or whatever, because a lot of them are dreams, but this time, you know I saw my uh, um, my uncle, not by blood, but by marriage. You know, he's a uh, he, he was married. His name was Václav Lev. He Václav Václav Lev. He was married to uh, Liz Garolia. She's my mom's sister. Anyway, I Václav, I made a video about leaving behind Václav. You know, a couple months ago when he died, and you know, just so memories or a, a a bit of a look into what kind of person he was. You know, on the inside, and then by his uh behavior this incident it was a dream slash nightmare because you know what I, I didn't wake up like uh scared well i was just shocked and it's something that you know he would typically do and it was uh in their house or an apartment before they moved to my grandma's house we used to live there and my uh, uncle uh, Stan Nimick used to live. He was the first one. That was his place. Then we moved in, and then they moved in after we left uh, to Spain eventually to to the states. And you know, he uh, I dreamt it from somebody's perspective that either wasn't communicating in in Polish, and it was just like on the outskirts. And the kids were my cousin Jacek, and uh, I think Katarzyna was there. I'm not sure, but I saw Jacek. He just wasn't talking much, and the person just felt kind of out of place a little bit. At least that's what I got, you know. And the person made his way to the kitchen, and then I see that's what. Uh, first of all, they live like in the fourth or fifth floor. That apartment is located, and this is thing that happened. I started thinking about years ago. I heard about this, but it didn't really happen because he was alive, you know. And it's uh, it's that thing. It's not a theory. It happened to me multiple times that people can reverse time for that particular person. Maybe that's the reason why people have their yeah, deja vu or they're fully aware that they're doing the same thing that happened a couple minutes ago and they're just doing the same thing. Yeah, you could check your time and let's say it's like, you know, let's say it's like 11.08 and you would think, you know, a couple minutes go by and then, like, you know, for some reason you're, you're at the same place, it's 11.08 again. So much versus a certain time for, for a certain act and this time I saw Vods like, on the ledge of the kitchen, ledge on the outside, you know, four stories down, you drop, you're dead. And uh, there was a female that either hopped on the ledge, but she did it fine. She came in, and he was trying to show off. He was trying to say, you know, show that he could. And the way he stepped, like he was, he almost slipped. And he grabbed, and he tried. I think he tried to do a spin. Then again, instead of pulling himself up, and he fell forward. Fell. He fell off, off the of the ledge of the the kitchen uh the window. Except instantaneously, you know, in my dream, I was waiting for like uh. The hit, I was, and it was, it was such a long time. I didn't see it, but then I heard the hit. You know, I'm not saying it's a alternate reality. I really don't know how to describe it, but it's a reality where, I, you know, people they manipulate uh, the time, they reverse the time, and he was back. I guess they, someone instigate, instigating, uh, instigatively told me that he was back up on the ledge. And personally, when they go through that, I had that same experience. You know, a couple of years ago, I uh, had an abnormal high uh, A1C. I was a diabetic. I still am. And I had a Coca-Cola outside. And I remember just feeling like shocks in my head. And I, f I didn't feel like I passed out. And then I just remember, you know, I just woke up or something like that. And I walked down to the fridge and it was like an hour earlier. It was an hour earlier and I was in a downstairs fridge. And I saw all the Coca-Cola that I didn't even, that I supposedly drank, like two or three, that was still in the fridge. So someone reversed the time as well. I mean, I was—I guess I was gonna end up in a coma or dead. I was gonna die, you know. But that—that's one instant when it happened to me. When it happens to you, I was just bewildered, you know. It was uh, it was very careless and reckless of me to like drink Coca Cola, you know. Even though it was in the bottle, it was real sugar. It's you know, it, it picked my sugar right up. That's the instance that I had in it. In a dream, this must have been, I mean, this was obviously, uh, let's say, more than 15 years ago this happened because Watts was later, you know, he uh, he had a, a certain a stroke or uh, a blood cut in his brain and he lost a, a lot of uh, 
uh, I think either left or right side of his body, movement wise and speech, you know? So it was a long time ago when he was still physically able. <clears throat> but that's the dream I had last night. It's about, and I, I woke up, I jotted in my, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I jotted in my notebook, and I, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna write it down. It's so freaky, you know. And it just you know, it's the shock value of someone you know just falling so high, and not just that, but the mannerisms that he went into. Like he, it looked like he he was like he had his feet like that, and then he like not that he slipped, but he was just not in a good footing, and you know he was trying to recover, but he didn't recover. Like he was pulling himself out, or maybe he was holding. He just jumped up, and like you know he jumped up way too far, or he missed the ledge or something like that, or he slipped on the ledge. And it was just, you know, just a shocking, shocking dream slash nightmare. But, you know, I mean, also it's like um, an account of somebody ha having a freak accident like that. Can you be better at someone reversing time? You know, I mean, I kind of get it. Just, it, it, I kind of don't even want to get into that in this video. Just, you know, that, that dream nightmare. My dreams are from, from other people's experiences in their life that were probably either not positive. I'm well, not positive or just, you know, uh, either criminal minded or awkward or very uh, disrespectful. I dream about a lot of people that came into my life or just, you know, abused me or disrespected me or hated on me. And just so happens I see their lives. A lot of them, you know, they're not too positive. They're not too positive. And, you know, before I go to sleep, I always I always say the, these words, uh, or at least in my mind, I say, it, you know, what dreams may come. It's not that it's like... I make it happen to say that I just got so used to it because, you know, I started writing down these dreams. Your know, first ones were a couple months ago when I was in a psychiatric unit before the last time I was in there. And it was about this kid from high school, Jimmy, you know, it was about his and his friend. And I felt like they were on a date, but they're, you know, they're, uh, I think they're both married to, to females, but it felt like they were on a date and they're just doing this creepy, ridiculous stuff. And, you know, they're acting very juvenile. And, uh, it just so happens I was in a, a, you know, psychiatric unit and I had to write it down because just, it was so in detail. But, yeah, I just I just wanted to talk about, you know, that, that dream right there. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's Vaswa for Vatsik right there, you know. He always do these little stunts. You know, mama told me, I don't, I don't, I don't remember too much, but I remember kind of little. He had, mama had this, uh, this beater. It's a metal with wooden beater and you, you're supposed to beat meat on it or something. And he went like this to me when I was a kid and, and, you know, he did it once, I think he did it twice and the thing just, you know, fell behind him. I mean, it could have slipped, he had a, hit me in the head, but, you know, it's not like he did it on purpose, but it was just, you know, he always had these little stunts with like, you know, uh, aggressiveness or evil behind it. And, um. You know, I, I, even if he didn't fall and he reversed the time, like, I just wouldn't want to see that, you know? Like, that's disturbing to me, man. I wouldn't want to see him even if, you know, he would have pulled off that stunt. It's just like, you know, you go to circus for that. It's like, you know, and you prepare for for that that shock in a circus. But even, you know, even with that, I like, I don't look forward for that. You know, it's like a cheap thrill. I mean, it's just like, it, it's scary. It's terrifying for me.